So if you want to know which devices are supported with iOS 16, iPadOS 16, macOS 13, and watchOS 9, well, let's delve into it. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so beginning with iOS, this was quite a surprise because many of us were expecting the 6S and the SE to lose support, the pretty old devices, so dropping them makes sense, but Apple also surprisingly dropped support for the 7 and 7 Plus. Now there were some murmurs regarding this, but I thought hey the A10 chip should be fine for iOS 16, but apparently that's not the case. And there were some rumours that the 7 Plus with the additional RAM would still get support and the 7 only would be dropped, but that's not the case. Both the 7 Plus and the 7 have been killed off. And so in the future, when we do have similar generation iPhones with different amounts of RAM, do not expect the higher RAM models to get more support. But anyways, moving to the iPads, support's surprisingly quite good with iPadOS 16 because we were expecting the iPad Air and the iPad Mini 4 to lose support. Those have gone. Again, like the 6S and the SE, that makes sense. The very old devices. But also many of us were expecting the iPad 5, which has has these same internals as a success to lose support. However, surprisingly, that's not the case. So yeah, the A9 chip and two gigs of RAM is fine with iPadOS, but apparently is not fine with iOS. Sounds a little like planned obsolescence, but anyways, because of that, the A10 powered budget iPads also has support. And also there were rumors that the first generation iPad Pros with the A9X would also lose support, but that's not the case. But anyways, coming to macOS, similar to iOS, Apple has actually killed off a bunch of devices. macOS Ventura only supports 2017 and later Macs. And so yeah, surprisingly, the first touch bar MacBook Pros only got five years of support and Apple's clearly trying to get rid of these older Intel Macs ASAP. Oh, and by the way, I nearly forgot, but watchOS has dropped support for the Series 3, which is kind of surprising because they still sell it, but considering how old the watch is, it does kind of make sense. However, I do think it's kind of scummy for Apple to sell a device that's going to lose support, and so I'm hoping they don't wait till September to discontinue the Series 3. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Tell me your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the good above on details regarding the iPhone 14 series. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.